All right, so we're back on the uh, the truck here. I'll take you, show you what I've been doing here. My area around this thing looks like something out of the Jeffersons, but hey, huh, we gotta do what we gotta do. So I've got this thing cleaned out about as far as I'm gonna go with it. Uh, the only thing I have left to do is take out these lights, and because I've been working so much in uh, after dark, I've been leaving those those till the very end. All right, so we just uh, experienced um, quite the heat wave this summer here. It's been 100 degrees. And I've worked six days a week, it seems like, all summer. But we are in crunch time now. Uh, this this thing needs to go west in two months, which sounds like a while, but it's trust me, it's not, especially whenever you work six days a week. So anyway, we got to go. We got to get some stuff done. Um, we got a good week coming up uh, where the temperatures, I don't think it's supposed to be above 90, which is good. Uh, because I need to be able to spray foam this thing. So as you can see, I've got this sucker completely cleaned out um, from last time I showed you. Remove the sides. Um, now these are all going to get closed up and I'm actually going to reskin this entire outside with aluminum. Uh, but I need to, I'm playing my weather for the spray foam. So where we're at right now, I've got this thing cleaned out about as good as it's going to get. I've pressure washed it twice. Um, but it's going to get covered up. So I've got a bunch of aluminum. So I've got a bunch of wood on the trailer there. Crazy how expensive that stuff still is. Anyway, I've got enough framing material to basically box out the inside and then make that back wall. Um, I took out all the doors and all the framing so we can frame out that back, that back wall too. Um, I'm picking up my uh, aluminum uh, in a couple of days. So we can go ahead and close up these big openings here with plywood. And then I'm going to reskin the whole outside. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, but the fiberglass is just, I'm going to go to all the trouble and reskin it. So, right now, what we're going to do is I'm going to start working on the floor system here. Uh, I'm going to frame this thing 16 inches on center, 2x6 on the floor, 2x4 on the walls. Reason being is you can see these walls, um, they have insulation in them. There's about an inch of that insulation in it. Uh, the floor's obviously got nothing. So, I'm going to do a 2x4 wall and do a two by six on the bottom. I want this thing to be well insulated. Like I said, it's a four season camper. So, you know, I'm shooting for about that R20, uh, maybe even R22, depending on how I, how I work. But I'm shooting for like an R20. Um, if you guys that aren't familiar with this, typically a two by four wall, um, which, you know, a lot of their modern houses are now two by six frame, but that's looking at like an R19. Uh, two by four is typically like an R11, R13, somewhere around in there, depending on how you want. So I'm, I'm, this sucker's gonna be, it's going to be well insulated. Um, obviously there'll be some areas, you know, like this door that won't be as insulated, but you know, it's gonna be sealed up tight. So that's where we're going with it. We're gonna do spray foam and batten. Uh, I'm not gonna do rigid board. The rigid board is just, it's just too expensive. And by the time I do the spray foam and the bat, I think I'll be just fine, so. That's where we're at, guys. Um, gonna start running this floor system in here. I'm gonna build it out just like you would a regular floor. I've gotta get the floor system in, and then before I build that wall, I have got my refrigerator, oven. But uh, anyway, like I said, you can tell the yard looks like something out of the Jeffersons, because I cleaned this truck out. It's amazing how much stuff was in there. This big box here is actually getting flipped up, and this is gonna be my garage. Um, and I've gotta get that thing in. That thing weighs a ton. But I got to get that thing inside here before I build this wall out. So I've got to build the floor, insulate the floor, sheet the floor, throw that thing, that big box in there, and then frame that back wall out. Let's see what a thousand dollars looks like in plywood two by fours. Yeah, stupid. All right, y'all. Quick little update here. Uh, about to call her a night here. Just want to show you what I got done. I'm out here, out here working under the lights. Um, anyway. Got quite a little bit done here this evening. Um, I'll show you what I got. This is all my plywood for the inside. Got all my framing material. Like I said before, I'm studding this thing out like a house because I'm insulating it like, like a really nice house. Uh, that's my biggest reason. So anyway, got the uh, got the floor framed in tonight. Um, worked on it for a couple hours here. I uh, got the side panels in closed up there. So that's nice. Um, yeah, I got the... Uh, Got the floor framed in, everything here. Uh, like I said, two by six. 
step in here where it's a little brighter here. Two by six. Um, everything on 16 inch centers. This is all going to get um, three quarter plywood on, on top here um, for the floor. But I got to get this floor in and get it uh, insulated with my spray foam and then my bat insulation and then I can bring in my big box that's going to be used for my garage and then I can frame up that wall right there um, and then hopefully I can bring in a lot of the other material I'll have it all floored out and then I can just frame it inside here but it already smells better in here man this sucker this sucker smelled like a smelled like a service truck but bringing all this fresh cut lumber in here Ah, it's, it's nice. So anyway, um, so the floor obviously is built in place. Now I know obviously the truck's not going to be level and everything else, but I'm going to try to keep the floor as level and as true. And you know, I don't want it to go all wonky on me. Um, and it kind of is right now just because the, the sides are sitting, you can see there's gaps under the floor. So, uh, before I call it a night, I'm going to go run into the shop there and I've got some two by two angle. Uh, aluminum angle left over for the boat I'm gonna cut a bunch of pieces and then tomorrow before I spray my uh, Insulation I'm gonna run down through here and I'm just basically gonna take a straight edge and just true this floor up um, That's about the best way I can figure to do it um, You know, like I said it, the the level of the trucks obviously not level so that doesn't really matter. It's never going to be level whenever you park it, but I just want it to be straight and true and not all wonky. Uh, you can see I've got a little bit more gap under there than that. So we'll take some straight edges, uh, you know, big, big screeds or six foot levels or something. And we'll, we'll true it up as best we can, make it as flat as possible. Um, and then that's, you know, that'd be good enough. Uh, and then, like I said, I'll use the, uh, those brackets, those L shaped brackets to do that. I'll attach them to the floor and then true it up through the actual floor joist here. So uh, once we get that done, then I can fill in the gaps over top of the fenders. I don't know how that's going to change. Um, like I said, all this is going to get spray foamed with uh, two inches of uh, this DIY closed cell spray foam stuff that I've got. Um, it ended up being the cheapest route to go. So that should give me like an R14, I think. R13 or R14 and then I've got R19 that's going to go on the floors and I'm going to do R15 in the ceilings so we're going to be we're going to be up there with our R values um but yeah it's going to be nice that closed cells tighten everything up keep it from uh keep from moving around too so it should adhere quite well to this this aluminum floor here so Anyway, that's what we've got. Like I said, I'm playing the weather this week. Uh, I'm, it's gonna. It was 100 plus degrees last week. It's gonna be 100 plus degrees next week. So I've got this week to do it, and I've got to make hay. Um, but yeah, worked on it a couple hours. I gotta go get aluminum tomorrow for the sides, and then uh, we'll have all the uh, all the material for the exterior done too. So first night of actual building and framing it seems like it has taken forever to get to this point and it really has this it was a lot of work to get to this point and i told myself that if i could get to that point um the interior would go quick and like i said i've got you know i've got what one two three four five six walls to build and i've got you know i got one done real quick so like i said these walls here will go up super fast the framing is not my concern it was just getting to that point so there we go pretty cool all right y'all welcome back so new night dark again outside uh anyway just got all my all my bracing done so i've got this thing flat as i can get it um like i said level is not what i'm worried about i'm worried about everything being flat and true no humps in it so went through spent quite a little bit of time uh tweaking a few things like i said this bed is not you know the bed is not flat so you're not really necessarily building on a flat surface um so you can see i've got some gaps and some stuff underneath my flooring but it's flat and that's what i'm worried about uh, i then went through with my aluminum brackets here and tied in all down the center and i've got like six or seven 
different points down the sides, um, all tied directly down into this aluminum bed. I, you guys will see I left gaps in certain areas, um, you know, like around the fender areas there. I did that intentionally so where I'll be able to get my spray foam in there, um, which is what I'm going to do next. What I'm gonna do is I, I priced out insulation. And like I said, this I want this thing to be four seasons. All my, all my units, all my water, all my pumps, everything is gonna be contained with inside of this box uh, because I want it to be, you know, minus 30 proof. Um, so I priced out insulation, uh, rigid foam, uh, spray in from a third party and, um, and then batten. And what I decided was, uh, I decided on a kind of do it yourself, uh, spray foam kit here as well as bat insulation. So we're going to do everything with two inches of spray foam, which should give me somewhere around a R13, R14, uh, with the spray foam. It'll tighten everything up because I'm using closed cell. And then we're gonna throw bat insulation on top of that. Um, you know, I, I don't think the bat will sink. I know that's a lot of, that's a concern with a lot of people, you know, with the driving is the bat will consolidate. But, um, you know, if I use face bat and I've got, you know, that spray foam for it to hold, I don't think it'll be that much of an issue. Not only that, but I've already got an R, you know, let's say 12 plus behind it. So um, I'm gonna go through and do that. So this is the product that I used, um, for those of you that are in interested, um, search around, it's a Kraken, it's a European company, uh, but basically it's just a, a spray foam like you would normally see at the hardware store, but uh, this stuff here is supposed to be uh, pretty good. I don't know, I've never tried it. You guys are about to see. I'm gonna start in the back here and, uh, and give it a go. So it's got these different nozzles and a gun and. Oh, we'll see. You guys are gonna witness the uh, the first time of me me doing this. So I don't know. We'll we'll give it a go and see. Like I said, hopefully I can get about two inches of of coverage on this. Um, I think I'm gonna do one pass and then I'll walk the joist to see because um, I also want to see how much it's gonna take for you know, the rest of the building, but anyway, let's give it a go. That's pretty interesting. pretty quick I can tell but hey if it works it works good my big thing is I just want to see how it's gonna rise more than anything um, yeah I figure I think I figured nine cans for this area so we'll see Stuff definitely goes quick and it does not seem to really uh, expand that much. So that's what I was that's what I was wondering is you know how how fast it actually expands. So anyway, give this one a shake. We'll go again. All right, so there it is. There's my floor. Stand back for you a little bit there, but yeah, pretty happy. Um, pretty happy with the product. So I've just, uh, I sprayed it and then I cleaned up my, my mess for the evening there, put tools away and whatnot, and it came back and it's already set up. This stuff, it goes quick. Um, so like I said, I kind of, this was my first time 
This is my first time using this stuff. Um, and I think the walls, the, the vertical walls will be a lot easier, um, you know, to get, get even. Uh, it really wasn't that bad on this. It was just trying to get down up underneath the, the corners and everything, you know, so. Yeah, pretty happy. Um, I ended up using eight cans on this, this floor here. Um, I bought 48 cans for this project, so. I'm hoping that that'll get me. Um, I have to get this floor in and done before I can build all the other walls out. So I have to split my insulation in two parts. So hopefully the next time I do it, I can I can have all um, all three walls, the back wall and this front wall here, this little front wall, and I can spray it all in one shot. And uh, then that way I can just use up all my material. So. I was just kind of trying to judge and guess, but yeah, I'd say I definitely got, I'd say I got a good inch and a half average um, of, of foam over top of it. I got the top of the fenders, you know, that was the one area that was going to be hard to insulate anyway, um, because I only had about an inch and an eighth over top of them. I pretty much sprayed those full and I'm very happy with that. I got a little trimming to do tomorrow. Uh, here and there, but for the most part, it's a very clean, clean product. Um, pretty happy with it. So anyway, um, we'll wrap it up. It's getting late. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow after work, I'm gonna come in here and uh, we'll do our little trimming here. Uh, what insulation we have, and then I've got some R19 bat that I'm gonna throw in here, and uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna cap this sucker with with three quarter inch plywood, and then we'll have a floor. So I've got to do some prep work on the outside. Um, I'm going to take out all the bolts on the furring strips because I'm going to reskin this sucker. Um, so we're, we'll put the floor in tomorrow night and then we'll try to get all the bolts. I'll show you guys tomorrow whenever it's daylight uh, what I'm talking about. But I've actually got 11 sheets of aluminum on the trailer I went and picked up today. And I'm actually going to reskin this entire uh, box. So. Um, that's going to be a little bit of work, but I want to get that done before I frame these walls up. These walls aren't going to take much to frame out here. This will go really quick. Um, but yeah, got to get the floor in. so where I can uh, get the big garage box in here. So, I don't know. A little bit of pieces here and there, guys. It's uh, it's all coming together. But this should, this should really stiffen this sucker up. And like I said, by the time I throw the R19 in here... I should have somewhere around like an R32 is what I'm saying. An R30, R32 in the uh, in this in this floor here, which is gonna be nice. Gonna be nice, and you know, by doing this spray foam, I don't have to worry about a vapor barrier. So that's cool too. So, all right, y'all, trying to do this right, I'm trying to share with you guys my process. Uh, definitely. Definitely still, as always, a budget thing. Um, definitely a budget build, but I'm trying to do it right, too. I don't want to half-ass this. I want this uh, I want this thing to last me for years where I can have years of enjoyment out of it. And, you know, I know you always got to work on stuff. I Trust me, I've done that for years, but I try to mitigate that as much as possible. So Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling. I'm tired. Been up since 4 o'clock, went into work 5.30 this morning, and I think it's about 11 right now, so... I'm tired. All right, we'll check back with you tomorrow.